Did you know that it is true that wolves are the ancestors of all dogs? They are the dogs that really look like wolves but are actually goofy and do not skip any chance to fool around. A recent study indicates that the two species actually shared an ancestor from which they diverged millions of years ago. What came from this gave rise to the genus Canis, which includes the wolves, the dogs, and other creatures. This explains why it is not unexpected that many dogs have wolf-like features, and but because of humans have engaged in extensive and selective dog breeding, many dog breeds bear little or no resemblance to wolves. Although some dog breeds are most closely related to wolves' genetic than the others, this doesn't always translate into a wolf-like appearance. Today we'll show you the top 11 dogs that really look like wolves. But before we begin, do not forget to hit the like and share buttons and do subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Number 1. The Wolf Dog As the name resembles, they're one of those dogs that really look like the wolves. A wolf and a dog have to be bred to create the wolf dog with a height of 29 inches and a weight of 88 pounds. It is the outcome of breeders' attempts to cross these species in various parts of the world and depending on how much DNA is present, this has led to varying the genetic burdens. Experts disagree over whether or not to classify the wolf dog as a hybrid dog and they're illegal to possess in several nations. Watch this video on illegal dog breeds on our channel to know more about such fierce breeds. This animal shares a significant genetic load with the wolves and they're frequently challenged to teach because they exhibit the wolf-like behavioral traits. There are between 3 lakh and 5 lakh wolf dogs kept as pets in the US, however, this is also a lot of false breeding, leading to many isolated canines that are physically resemble the wolves. Some jurisdictions strive to prevent the potential canine behavioral issues such as aggression by limiting the genetic load, and the real wolf dogs are exceptionally healthy dogs, rather than acting like the dogs, they more often act like the wolves. Instead of barking, they usually groan or howl. This means that they require the assistance of qualified guardians and typically do not adapt well to developed societies. Number 2. The Kuksha The slaver dog from the north, also referred to the Meriton Malamute, is employed to carry the hefty loads and the carts. The Kuksha is a purebred dog with the characteristics that resemble the wolf's the height of 27 inches and the weight of 110 pounds. This large dog has a long white face, pointed ears, and a long bushy tail with the shaggy hair sheds heavily, necessitating the taily cleaning to reduce the amount of loose fur. You can rely on the Kuksha to be faithful friend and family dog since it has the intelligence to lead a pack, the drive to take on any task, and the diehard loyalty. Please be advised by these breeders dominating and it will prove by its dominance for its owner. Well, moving on to number 3, the Northern Inuit on the Tamaskan. The true wolf dog include the Northern Inuit, also the American Tuscan, and some breeders combine this to help socialize for their offsprings as a family setting. The breeders claim that because of the highly developed genetics, these animals enjoy unusually long lives they claim for the Tamaskan lives an average lifespan of 15 to 20 years. The Tamaskan is a powerful, smart and nimble working dog and has the height of 25 inches with a weight of 75 pounds. She enjoys working in his excellent physical task and these breeds tendency to be laid back and refrain from trying to dominate over working breeds is one of the defying traits. The Tamaskan is mellow but disliking being left alone, the separation anxiety may develop to 3-4 to four hours and lead to negative behavior. The first example of Siberian Husky, an Alaskan Malamute hybrid is the authentic northern Inuit dog that were produced in Finland and the later generations 
some breeders have boosted the dog's lupid genetics. Given their massive wolf-like form, the Tamascan has an intimidating look and the witness, they are between the 23 to 28 to inches tall. Their weight ranges from 55 to 85 pounds and the males are larger than the females. They were once used to pull the sledges and were thought to be the working dogs. Moving on to number 4, the Samoyed. The Russians developed the Samoyed dog breeds. The Samoyed dogs initially include the dragging sledges, herding reindeers, and keeping their keepers warm when they slept next to them at night. The Samoyed is one of the most affectionate dog breeds in the world, despite having a face that resembles a white wolf. The purebred has the appearance of the majestic white wolf. When you see the Sami smile, you realize that it's a huge, actually kindly hound and not a dangerous animal. The Samoyed is known as for its heavy, thick, fluffy coat that needs to be brushed frequently to eliminate the dead hair and maintain it with a height of 23 inches and a weight of 65 pounds. Due to their friendly personalities, they make the terrible guard dogs, but because of the high levels of alertness, they can make the good watchdogs. The Samoids, often known as the Samis, frequently smile, which adds to their endearing, appealing. Well, they're very beautiful, and yet they're one of those dogs that really look like the wolves. The wild wolves can be dangerous animals, but they're also majestic and interesting creatures in their own right. In our videos on the various wolf species and the characteristics, you may learn more about these attractions. Number 5 the Alaskan Malamute The Nuit people created the historical dog breeds known as the Alaskan Malamute as a sledge dog. They are incredibly strong animals that can travel great distances when carrying up to a height of 26 inches and a weight of 50 pounds. The Malamute is an intelligent working dog and she is eager to please and simple to train. The Malamute is a lover at heart and likes to spend all the time with the family. She may look like a wolf and yet she is very kind to the kids. Since the bread is glued to the family, it may experience separation anxiety if left alone for longer period than 4 hours. This could trigger negativity actions like chewing and digging and all the weathers the males can measure up to 25 inches and females up to 23 inches. Their average lifespan is between 10 and 12 years. The hair on the Alaskan Malamute is highly unique and needs special care. Curiously, it doesn't lose the volume when it becomes wet, and despite having striking wolf-like appearance, the Alaskan Malamute is a cherished white pet with a particularly affectionate nature. They can thrive even in the hotter areas, which is surprising. Moving on to number 6, the Siberian Husky. Although the Siberian Husky is a massive dog, the Alaskan Malamute is bigger. They have a life expectancy of 12 to 15 years and a height of 23 inches and a weight of 60 pounds. They have a fierce and loving aspect at the same time. Despite their wolf-like appearance, they are loving, playful and devoted dogs. She shares the wolf's tall face, pointed ears and a thick coat of fur but the Husky is distinguished by its ice blue eyes. This working dog is accustomed to following the instructions and completing the task because she also pulls the sledges in the snow and this bird is simple to train and will never leave your side. It is intelligent and eager to follow and she also doesn't exhibit the typical wolf dog shyness. There are also social dogs who have been raised in a herd and they struggle to cope with being alone. They can be taught to pull the sledges and they are noted for being headstrong and can be challenging to teach. They require significant amount of daily activities because they are affectionate, energetic, and friendly dogs. Moving on to number 7, the Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog. The 1955 experiment that produced the Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog, the four Carpathian Wolves, with the part of the German Shepherd. Despite having the white wolf heritage, 
they are a relatively well balanced full dog after numerous generations of breeding. As a result, the numerous hybrid dogs have since been bred with the variable degrees of success. They have a height of 32 inches and a weight of 65 pounds. These canines need early appropriate socialization with people and other animals. This bread wasn't recognized a distinct behavioral breed until the 1982 and the former Czechoslovak Republic designated the Czechoslovakian Wolfhound as the national emblem. If they're not adequately socialized, they have a tendency to be reticent and distrustful with the potential for aggression. Want to know more about aggressive dogs? Well, watch this cool video on our channel on the top 10 aggressive dog breeds and get your mind blown. They're extremely hierarchical and might be difficult for smaller animals. Their average lifespan is 13 to 16 years, and however, given to the genetics of the German Shepherd, they are susceptible to hip dysplasia in canines. They are huge with the males reaching a height of 26 inches and a weight of 65 pounds. For number 8, we have the Canadian Inuit dog. Inuit tribes have always utilized a huge dog to pull their sledges and this dog is called the Canadian Inuit dog, sometimes known as the Canadian Eskimo dog or Pom. It is thought to be North America's oldest dog breed despite having a little shorter nose and have a highly wolfic appearance. They have a height of 29 inches and a weight of 88 pounds. Due to the widespread of use of snowmobiles in the Arctic today, this breed is in decline. The populations are likewise declining as the Siberian Husky and the Alaskan Malamute strains take the place. The latter types are quicker, but they also tend to be weaker in defense. Number 9. The German Shepherds Possibly one of the most popular dogs that really look like the wolves is the German Shepherd. The genetic lining of German Shepherds are among the most frequently used by firefighters and forces of world other due to the intellect, the strength, consistency, obedience, and disposition. Our video on the 10 best German Shepherd puppy training tips will further help you to attain a fit and strong German Shepherd to protect your home and your family. The German Shepherds typically live between 9 to 13 years and have a height of 26 inches and a weight of 85 pounds. They are very attached to their family, especially the younger members. Although they make excellent guardians, they are prone to several health issues. Many of these have to do with the bone structure, which frequently degrades as a result of small chain pull. Number 10. The Sarloose Wolf Dog The Charlotte's wolf dog is a powerful canine, this is the result of the ancestry in the breeding. The German Shepherds were getting overly domesticated, so as a Dutch breeder decided to breed back some DNA in the pedigree in the 1930s. The Charlotte's wolf dog is the end outcome, I wasn't in the 1975, this breed standards organization formally recognized this breed. It has a height of 34 inches and a weight of 120 pounds. The Sarlos wolf dog is a short-coated species with exceptionally large legs. The lively dogs are inquisitive, self-assured and autonomous. They need regular access to outdoors and have the robust bodies. They are not appropriate for the novice dog caregivers. Number 11. The Utonagam The magnificent Utonagan is a canine breed with the British roots with a height of 28 inches and weight of 90 pounds. It is a cross of the three breeds, the German Shepherd, the Alaskan Malamute and the Siberian Husky. A socialized Utonagan dog would make a wonderful family pet for an active family or an experienced dog owner who enjoys the great outdoors. They are bright strong wills and fine with the kids and are very popular as one of the dogs that really look like the wolves. 
the Yutanaka is not afraid of a talk the novice dog owner should get. They're social, pleasant, intelligent dogs. They have a 10 to 15 year lifespan. They get along nicely with kids and get along with the pets as well. They have yet to be given breed status by any governing authority and in general the females are smaller than the males. Some believe they are the real deal wolves. Hope you've had your mind blown with this amazing piece of information from our video on dogs that really look like wolves. Let us know in the comment section what your thoughts are about these breeds and how you would feel to have them as your dear pet. Until then, stay with us and enjoy.